Okay, starting off turn number two with Arjun. So, all right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. So Arjun is going to use his Trapping Strike and that allows him to choose a monster within one tile of him and he can pull that monster towards him and then attack it. That way he can, um, that way he doesn't have to waste his move to move adjacent to it. He can just pull the spider down next to him. So that's what he's going to do. So pulls the spider over using trapping strike and then attacks the spider with a plus eight. Has an AC of 15, so we need to get a seven or better. And we got an 11, so that's a good hit. Good solid hit there. And the spider goes down, so we'll place that into our experience pile. We now have three experience. A little ways to go until we're able to cancel encounters. So we get the spider off the board. And we will draw a treasure for Arjun while we're over here. And he's going to get a necklace of fireballs. So he can use this instead of attacking, attack each monster on a tile one away. Okay. So far we have three items. We have these two and that one. So let's go ahead and update for Arjun. So he did not need a surge. He attacked, he killed, so he got a treasure. We already took care of that. Now he's gonna move. He's just gonna move, let's go this way. Be a bit easier with table space. So he's gonna move over there. Um, actually, let me have him move down here because he's not slowed or anything, so he has plenty of movement. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when it's Alyssa's turn, she's slowed. Um, if I want to get her over to this other tile, she can go one, two. She can move through Arjun, but nevertheless, it'll just be easier if Arjun's not in the way. So we're going to explore. He's going to grab a tile. And we got a, another black tile, so another encounter. Let's go ahead and update here. So Arjun did explore. He got a black tile. And let's draw our monster. And it's going to be another Cobalt Skirmisher. So... His twin brother comes back for the attack. Place that down on the newly placed bone pile. So another cobalt skirmisher. No blessings on no blessings or conditions for him to worry about. Uh, we will have an encounter. That cobalt skirmisher is dead, but a new one takes its place. So let's draw the encounter for Arjun. And it's going to be green slime. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. Well, luckily, that's just Arjun because Alyssa is technically on the other tile. It's going to be a plus six on that attack. If it hits, it does two. If it misses, it does one. But if it hits, the active hero... If the active hero is hit by the attack, the active hero discards one treasure. Yeah, let's hope this misses because we're the whole purpose of this adventure is to gain as many treasure items as we can, so we don't want to give any away. So we need to roll like a 10 or lower. Ah, dang. All right, so that hits. So that's going to do two damage to Arjun. So let's go ahead and update that. So it's going to take him down to seven. And I'm going to put this card out. I can't use it till the beginning of his next hero phase. But I'm going to put it here. Well, actually, let me put it right next to Arjun. Just so that I remember to gain those two hit points on his next turn. Okay, now, let's see. He is not slowed or anything like that. But he does have to give up one of his treasure cards at random. And the way I usually do this is I just roll for it since it's random. And I'm going to go odds and evens. So if it's odds, we get rid of the glyph. If it's evens, we get rid of the necklace because we can't choose. It has to be random. So we roll for which card to give up. And it's odds. So we give up the glyph of warding. What does that do again? Okay. Well, you know, I don't think that we get to count that towards... Uh, let me think about this. Do we get to count that towards one of our treasure items? Because it's not sunset yet. Well, I would say pr 
probably not because boy that's we didn't get to use the thing is when we use these they still get discarded I don't know I'm gonna make a judgment call and I'm gonna say that since the Sun has not set yet this gets discarded into the pile of treasure items that we collected but we didn't get any benefit out of it so that's that's how I'm gonna call that if it's wrong I'll I, I don't know how anybody would know if that's right or wrong <laughs> okay so that's the encounter played out now we'll get rid of our our uh, encounter and then the cobalt skirmisher is going to attack Arjun with a plus nine And that's an 18. That's definitely going to hit. All right. So Cobalt Skirmisher takes aim and has a really solid connect on Arjun there. So it's going to take him down to six. That's the end of Arjun's villain face. So Alyssa's, it's now Alyssa's turn. She's slowed. Can she become adjacent to this guy? One, two. Yes, she can. Or she could even go one, two. That, that's going to work. So Alyssa, even though she's slowed, she's going to use her move action to go one, two, so that she's now adjacent to the Cobalt Skirmisher and just ping it with her one damage to take it out automatically. So the Cobalt Skirmisher goes down, and we now have four experience points. She will get a treasure card for that. Um, so let's go ahead and take that treasure now, see what she gets. Item, play immediately. You gain plus one bonus to attack rolls against monsters that are not adjacent to your hero while this item is in play. Now again, I can give the item to whoever I want. And But the thing is, most of them, both of them pretty much always attack adjacent. So I don't know that it really matters. Let's see. So attack adjacent, attack adjacent attack each monster with Dragon's Breath, so that would give us a plus one on that. Precise Strike, that's adjacent. That's adjacent, adjacent. That's adjacent. So I guess the only one of us that has anything that's not adjacent is Arjun, so we'll give this item to Arjun. Let's go ahead and update for Alyssa. She did not need a surge. She did move. She attacked. She got her treasure and she will be exploring, but her slowed condition now wears off because she is now done exploring. We're now into the, um, or whether her hero phase is over. So the, the slow is gone. We're now in the exploration phase. So she's now exploring. Draw a white tile. So that's the first white tile that's come out. No encounter, but we do have to move the sun tracker forward. Just one. <laughs> okay, so she did explore. She got a white tile. So there's no monster that for when a white tile comes out. Uh, no encounter. The spider's gone, but we do have a new monster to draw. And she's going to get another spider. So the spider's twin brother or whatever comes out, and it's going to be placed up here. So okay, so since there's no encounter to play, uh, we go straight into the spider, and it's going to use its acidic web with the plus eleven to attack Alyssa. And if it hits, it's the same thing with Arjun. It's going to do one damage, slow her down, and then it'll pull itself adjacent to her. So we roll, and we get a 1. That's good. And that's a 12. So even with the 12, uh, it's going to miss because Alyssa's AC is 15. And there is no consequence for a miss on the web. Now, if it's a bite, there's a 1 damage on a miss. But with the web, there's no damage on a miss. So that's going to be the end of turn number two.